While our success rates after vitrification or cryopreservation of embryos are excellent, there is still room for improvement. A very small percentage of oocytes and embryos don't survive after the warming process. And so that's where slush nitrogen may play a key role. What it is is super cooled liquid nitrogen. And what it allows for is a much more rapid freezing or cryopreservation of embryos. And so in this study, we actually took um, embryos which were donated to research and they were um, aneuploid or genetically abnormal. And so some embryos were vitrified in slush nitrogen while embryos that were of equivalent qualities were vitrified in liquid nitrogen, which is the standard um, currently. And we found that those embryos that were vitrified in slush nitrogen survived on average many more vitrification cycles than the liquid nitrogen. The fact that this improved outcomes for embryo survivability also has great implications on the survivability of oocytes or eggs. And once we have the answers from those studies, it's very quickly uh, implemented into clinical care of patients. Now um, we can perform studies on actual patient embryos and oocytes to see if there is actually a conferred benefit in the clinical capacity as well. When a, a center is focused on research for the purpose of improving outcomes, patients benefit. We feel that in order to optimize patient outcomes and to continue to provide the best possible care for our patients, that we need to continue to develop and grow and adapt our practice according to contemporary research. That is one of the reasons why I'm so fortunate to work for RMA and be able to contribute and also bear witness to how research directly impacts our patients and improves outcomes.